Hey, welcome back once again to Duty's Daggers, where we are cutting with the Spyderco Sage 5 in Maximet Blade Steel. One of my favorite steels ever. Um, and Spyderco just does so well with this stuff. It holds an edge insanely well. Um, factory sharp as all hell, as you just saw. And let's see, man. Let's see if this thing can defeat the edge killer. Starting with regular cardboard. Actually, you know what? This isn't regular cardboard. This is the really dense stuff. It's kind of a combo between the regular cardboard and the double thickness cardboard. It's definitely a lot harder to cut through than the regular cardboard. And we're going against the grain here the hard way on the cardboard, and the Sage 5 is just destroying it. This is a slicey blade. Pretty thin blade stock, full flat grind. Yep. Destruction. Destruction with ease. Utility cuts are going to be pretty easy with this thing. It's a typical, eh, pretty typical, Spyderco leaf-shaped blade with a very low tip, um, but also some belly for when you need that. Spyderco just makes uh, some of the best versatile blade shapes ever. Blades that are very good at a lot of different things. Up next, let's get the leather glove out. I'm gonna cut the thumb off here. And roll her on up. Ooh. Oh yeah. Really nice and easy. Not leaving any little leftovers still hanging on, just cutting cleanly through all the way. Rocking on that belly. Very nice. Next up is going to be the Cecil Rope. Should be a perfect blade shape for this stuff, too. Starting at the tip, rocking back, and as the back part of the blade uh, comes in, you know, pinches the rope between itself and the wood, it just pops it. Pops that rope. Super easy. Very, very nice. And the rubber tubing. Let's see how it handles this stuff here. Full flat grinds do best with this. The rubber kind of grabs onto the blade and causes a lot of friction. So if you don't have thin geometry, this stuff is hard to get through. Piece of cake for the Sage 5. Strap! Will it get all the way through the 2 inch strap? We don't have a lot of blade length. Ooh, look at that. Seven eighths of the way through, are you kidding me? Any other knife with this amount of blade, I would say, yeah, that'll make it about halfway, maybe. But it's a spider co. How is this Maximet doing? How has it held up? Oh, yeah. Like we didn't even cut anything. I love this stuff, man. Look at that. I can tell it's a little duller, but man, still really easily cutting paper. That is a pass with flying colors. A lot of blade steels at this point would not be cutting paper. I mean, we tested some magnet cut uh, the other day that was not cutting paper at this point. Now it's time for the edge killer. This stuff has killed, um, you know, I haven't been using it that long, probably like, I don't know, I've done like four or five cut tests with it so far, but it's killed every edge I've put against it. Um, I will freshly strop the edge for this and we'll go at it, see, see how it cuts the rope and also see what the rope does to the edge. Each time after we cut the rope, it has not cut paper. The knife has not cut paper afterwards. 
Um, but I have a feeling that this Maxime is going to kick its ass. Nice and sticky. Oh yeah, we're ready. Here we go. <laughs> what the? Gah! Holy shit, man. Definitely, without doubt, the easiest time I've got I've had getting through the rope. I mean, what the hell, dude? Usually it like fragments into all these little fibers. That was unbelievable. And still more unbelievable. We're cutting paper, man. Super easy. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> this, I'm telling you, man, if you want edge retention, if you want the best edge retention, you're going to get it from Spyderco's Maximet. Unbelievable. Let's go a second time without strapping in between. Let's go again. Will that kill the edge? Oh, nope. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah, this is some badass stuff. This is some really, really, really good, sharp, not dulling blade steel. Super cool, man. I love it. It makes me excited. Look at that piece of rope we cut off. I mean, it was like... I don't know, three or four saws back and forths, and we were through. Not that much pressure I was pushing down. The, the blade was just like eagerly getting through it. Like it just wanted to cut. God, so cool. All right, that's it. Please like the video before you head out. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.